We've talked briefly about upsetting bar stock before with our upset square corner. We'll talk about it a little bit when we talk about scarfs, and I think I've mentioned it in other places, but upsetting is making a bar shorter and fatter. And if you've ever seen a chisel that's mushroomed over on the top, that's a really crude version of upsetting that is completely uncontrolled and gone all wrong. But it's still the same principle. You're pushing material into the length of the bar. Now I got this really long bar I need to upset. And I can stand here at the anvil, and I can do this, and eventually I'm going to get that upset. But there is a better way. This bar weighs more than my hammer does, so I'm going to use the weight of the bar to upset the end of the bar. I'm going to use it as its own hammer. I have this chunk of, oh, it's about two and a half inch thick steel, probably about eight inches diameter, and that makes a nice little anvil that I can set on the floor. If you have an anvil that you can move and set on the floor, you can do this procedure with an anvil, big square block, anything good and solid. I wouldn't do it against your concrete floor because I think you'll probably end up chipping big holes in it if you do that, but some sort of a steel block or, or an anvil underneath is all you need. And we just take the bar and slam it into that. You can see the end is starting to bend, so I need to take it to the anvil and straighten it. I'm just going to straighten that out, and I'm going to work the end back so it doesn't mushroom too badly on the end. And go back to upsetting. So it's just a back and forth procedure. A shorter heat would probably be a little bit better for this. If you let it get too bent and twisted, you'll never get it straight. So stop and straighten it again. So you just go back and forth as often as you need to till this is the size you want it to be. This started off as a three-quarter inch bar. I am now up to about an inch and an eighth after two heats. One disadvantage to the gas forge is that that uh, takes a longer heat than I would in the coal forge. It'd be a good thing to do with the torch, but I already had the forge lit. The other thing you can do is cool this with water to keep it where you want. But I'm pretty much done with what I want. I just need more for a shoulder. I'm going to put a square tenon on the end of this. This whole bar is actually a spit that's going to go for some sort of outdoor cooking. I think somebody's going to put a whole pig on it. And I need a place that I can put a crank handle. And that's what I'm setting up for there. So that's just a little bit about upsetting long bars. If the bar is heavy enough, let it do the work for you. Sometimes you can do that right here at the anvil if it's the bar so long. Make sure it's not so long you're poking holes in your ceiling. But just another little quick tip there, and we'll see you later.